Hi, this is George Alger. Welcome to today's segment of R Ventura TV. Today, we're going to be speaking about Alzheimer's and joining us is Jordana Lawrence from the Alzheimer's Association. Welcome, Jordana. And can you just give us um, a brief description of the purpose of the Alzheimer's Association? The Alzheimer's Association started back in the 80s when a gentleman who was going through it himself, and unfortunately right now I am forgetting the gentleman's name and I apologize for that, but he wanted to be able to help other families who are going through this um, to be able to have resources because he did. not um, Back then there wasn't a lot um, actually, it, it, there wasn't a lot for a long time. And then the Alzheimer's Association grew and now we are where we are. Um, and it's not just with helping families, but also is an advocate for research worldwide, um, as well as our programs and services. Okay, very good. Now, um, for those who may not know, could you give us a, a description of the difference between Alzheimer's and dementia? That's one of our biggest questions that we get. Um, dementia is an umbrella term, but it's also like the word cancer. So if someone said to you, I have cancer, the next question would be, what kind do I have? Alzheimer's is one form of the dementia, as well as many others, but it is the most prevalent. It is the most prevalent. Okay. Now, I understand that in Ventura County, Alzheimer's is the third leading cause of death. Um, could you speak about that? Yes, and it's been that way for quite a while now. And um, just to clarify too, that it's just Alzheimer's. It does not include any of the other dementias. So if you put that all together, I'm gonna say it was it's probably a lot higher than just the third leading cause of death in Ventura County. Um, which tells me that there are so many families that are going down this journey. Okay, and um, I don't myself associate dementia with death. So can you, uh, could you describe how they connect? Well, it is a terminal illness, which a lot of people don't realize. Oh. And, it's, uh, and so there, and a lot of it has to do is that there's no cure. There's no way to stop it or slow it. We do now have new drugs that have just come out in the last couple of years that will slow the progression of the illness, which, it, but it has to be in the early stages. Um, but when you think about it, the brain is what controls everything in the body. You know, it, it's what keeps us moving. If it's damaged, if it's slowly, you know, dying in a way, then yes, eventually it will cause your death. So outside of this new medication that you just uh, mentioned, if you are, um, if, if it's determined that you have Alzheimer's, it's a progressively worsening disease and, and it'll kill you. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my mother had mixed dementia, which means she had more than one kind. On her death certificate, it was Alzheimer's and cancer because a couple of months before she died, she ended up with cancer. So she, so she died of both. Okay. Is it understood how Alzheimer's gets started? Not quite yet. That's something that we're doing a lot of research on, and I'm sure in the next couple of years, we're going to have some answers. Um, there's a lot going on. In Next month, we have our international conference that's happening in Amsterdam, and all the researchers, all of the neurologists from around the world are going to be gathering there, and we're going to find out a lot of new things that are happening in the world of, of dementia. Okay. Um do you have any advice for folks who have family members or are caring for people with Alzheimer's? I would say a couple of things. One is to be able to take care of yourself because Alzheimer's is one of the longer uh, uh, life expectancies. Um, it's about eight to 15 years. So depending on when you were diagnosed, what stage you were in, it, it could be 
a long haul. So being able to kind of pace yourself into really what I call the strategic plan is to have an idea of where you are right now, where you could be in six months and where you could be in a year as a caregiver and trying to figure out how the care is for your loved one. By doing that, it, it's going to make things a little bit easier for yourself. Um, there's that suggestion. The other suggestion is to be able to utilize support groups that we have throughout Ventura County that you go and you can find out whether it's virtual or whether it's in person. We have both. Um, you can find out, one, you're not alone. You get support and you find out what resources are available in your community, which is so important because like what we were talking about before, where it's the third leading cause of death, we're not seeing a lot of families, you know, it, it, not as much as we should be seeing, it, calling our office, you know, utilizing what we have to offer. So there's a lot of families that, that don't know that we're here, that we're here to help them. Um, because the one thing about dementia, whether you have it yourself or whether you're a caregiver, is that it's a very isolating um, disease and your world tends to get smaller as it progresses. So families are so busy caring for their loved ones, they don't realize what's out there. And there's a lot in Ventura County to help them. Okay. Um, Jordana, on a historical perspective, do you happen to know if Alzheimer's is becoming more prevalent or less prevalent or staying the same over time? No, it is, it is more prevalent. There are more people that have dementia than prostate cancer and breast cancer combined. Um, by the year 2050, it, it, we're gonna, it, it's gonna be through the roof. Um, and we're, you know, we're trying to get ready for, for that, um, trying to educate and help families and getting ready. Um, but yeah, that's, it's definitely increasing. Okay. Um, is there any known, um, I don't know, activities or habits that a, a person can include in their life that might diminish the probabilities of that occurring? We're learning more and more. We know that the Mediterranean diet helps. We know that exercise is a big help. Um, we're, we're gaining knowledge in, in knowing that when you are more active, um, that's gonna make a difference. It can slow the onset of it or even delay it by some time. Um, we know that there's a connection between the heart and the brain. So what's good for your heart is also good for your brain. And when you're understanding about what you put in your mouth, how exercise helps. 20% of what, you're, what you eat goes to feed your brain. So whatever you're putting into your system is also going to help keep your brain healthy. And that's something to keep in mind. Okay. Jordana, we're just about out of time here. I wonder if you could sneak in the website so viewers could go there for more information. Absolutely. Our website is alz.org. And it has a lot of information. If you want to know what's happening in our chapter, that would be L, uh, I'm sorry, alz.org slash C, I'm looking at it, CA Central, so California Central. Um, and there's information and in, I, you know, uh, about education, about support groups. You can also call our office. Um, or we also have an 800 number that's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if there are any questions, if you find that your loved one is having a behavior that you don't understand, you can always call the 800 number and they'll be able to help you with that answer. All right. And do you have that number off the top of your head? I do. It's 800-272-3900. Jordana, thank you so much. We're going to wrap up now. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. This is George Alger signing off for this segment of Arventura TV. Until we meet again.